What is going on guys, it's Amit, you're watching DevDreamer and welcome to lesson 19 in JavaScript. In this lesson, we're going to learn all about logical operators. If you enjoy the content, don't forget to like and subscribe down below and choose all notifications by clicking the bell so you never miss an update. Okay, so welcome back to lesson number 19. So in this lesson then, let's learn all about JavaScript logical operators. Now, in programming, many languages have a concept of truthy and falsy values. And in JavaScript, the following values are considered to be falsy. The Boolean value false, undefined, null, an empty string, not a number, and finally the number zero. So all these are always considered to be false. So anything other than these values are considered to be true or truthy values. Now, when we perform certain operations, non-Boolean values are turned into Boolean values and we perform these operations with logical operators. In JavaScript, then there are four altogether. These are not or negation and or, and finally the latest logical operator, which is called the nullish coalescing operator. Now we'll look at this one in a lot more detail in the next lesson. In this lesson though, we're just gonna be focusing on the first three. So in our text editor here then, we're gonna say let A be assigned the value of one. Okay, so this has a Boolean value of true. Okay, and that's because it wasn't in that list of falsy values. But let's now go ahead and reassign A. So I'm gonna say A is gonna be assigned the value of not A. So now, if we console.log A, or the type of A, it's going to return a Boolean value of false, because first it was true, and then we use the not logical operator, which is this exclamation mark here, to change this now into a false value. Let's see this by logging this to the console. So I'm gonna say console.log, Let's first log the type of A, so type of A, comma, and then let's also log the value of A. So let's save this. And the console returns the type of A is now no longer a number, but it's a Boolean, and the value of A is false. Let's understand this the other way around by saying let B be assigned the value of zero. Remember, zero was in that list of falsy values, so this has a Boolean value of false. But if we reassign this and say, let B now be assigned the value of not B, okay, or not false, then B is now not false. In other words, B is true. So again, if you console.log this, and we'll do the type of B and the value of B, let's go ahead and save this. And the console gives us Boolean true, okay? So here then we see that the not operator has turned our number, the number one, and the number zero here into a boolean okay type of boolean and we see that the result of negating true is false and the result of negating false is true now the purpose of logical operators is to determine the logic between values and then perform some sort of action based upon whether the result evaluates to true or false to see this in action let's use an if statement let's go ahead and delete this now we haven't looked at if statements just yet but we will do in an upcoming lesson so if we say let x be assigned the value of one, okay? And this is technically a true value. And let's say let y be assigned the value of zero. This is a false value. And then down here, we'll create an if statement. And essentially all this does is it says, if the condition evaluates to true, then execute the code in between the curly braces. So let's just say console.log, hello. Okay, so whatever we put in here needs to evaluate to true in order for the console to log hello. So in here then we're gonna say x, which has the value of one, which in terms of a Boolean, it's true. So if we save this, then hello is logged to the console. If we say y, which has the value of zero, which is false, save this, and then nothing happens in the console because this was false. So now knowing what we know about the not or negation operator, if we were to put an exclamation mark in front of this and save this, the console now returns hello. And that's because this is now true. We could also say, not x or not true, which is false. Save this and nothing runs. Okay, so that's how to use the not or negation operator. Let's now look at the next logical operator, which is called and. The and logical operator checks to see if multiple values evaluate to true. All of them have to individually evaluate to true in order for the whole expression to return true. Let's use this same example here, but in here, let's get rid of this. And now let's say x and the way that we write the AND logical operator is by doing a double ampersand, space, y. So the way that we read this is, if x and y, then console log, hello. Let's save this and see what happens. Okay, the console doesn't return anything. Let's see why. 
So here then, our expression, the expression is just this in here, doesn't evaluate to true because whilst x is true, x being 1, y is not true, y is false. Both values need to be true in order for the entire expression to be evaluated to true. So knowing what we know now about the negation operator, how would you use the negation operator in this expression here in order to make this evaluate to true? Well, we would simply say not y, because y being false, if we say not y, this is now true. And if we save this, then the console logs hello, because this expression is now true. Okay, so that's how to use the logical and operator. Finally, in this lesson then, let's take a look at the or operator. With the OR operator, only one of the values needs to be true. So if we change this, let's get rid of all this. The way that we write the OR operator is by doing a double pipe. And so what we're saying here is, if X OR Y is true, then go ahead and run the code. So here, since X is true, even though Y is false, this expression still evaluates to true. Because remember, only one of the values needs to be true in order for our whole expression to be evaluated to true. And so if we save this, Sure enough, the console returns hello. So the way that this works then is the values are evaluated from left to right. Each value or operand as they're actually known is turned into a boolean. As soon as a true boolean is found, the expression is true. If no true boolean is found, then the expression is false. Now with the OR operator, we can also do some really cool things such as doing a short circuit evaluation. This is helpful when we're not just working with operands only, but also with functions or methods. So for example, let's get rid of this. And instead, let's say x, which is 1, or true, or, and then here, let's say alert, and we're going to say this is ignored since x is true. And then let's go ahead and duplicate this. Let's change this to y and change this to this is alerted since y is false. So for the first one, then x is evaluated. And since it's true, remember, we go from left to right. Since it's true, then the rest of the expression is ignored. But with the second statement, since y is false, we continue with the next value, which alerts this statement. So let's go ahead and save. And sure enough, we get the alert box that says this is alerted since y is false. OK, so that's how to use the first three logical operators, not, and, and, or. Let's go ahead and summarize. So in programming, then, many languages have a concept of truthy and falsy values. The following values in JavaScript are known as falsy, false, undefined, null, empty string, not a number, and the number zero. We also saw that JavaScript has four logical operators, the not operator, the and operator, the or operator, and finally, the nullish coalescing operator, which of course we'll be looking at in the next lesson. Finally, with the or operator, we can use something called short circuit evaluation when working with functions and methods. Okay, so let's go ahead and look at your tasks for this lesson. Okay, so for task number one then, Will the result of the following be true or false? We're saying let A be assigned the value of dev dreamer and let B be assigned the value of an empty string. Then we're saying if A or B console.log hello. So will this evaluate to true or false? For task number two, again, we've got the same variables, but a different if statement. For this one, we're saying if A and true and not B. So will this evaluate to true or false? And finally, for task number three, I want you to create the following variables. A with a value of minus one and B with a value of one, and then go ahead and create an if statement using a logical and operator and answer the question, will this expression evaluate to true? Okay, so go ahead and pause the video, try these out, and when we come back, we'll take a look at the answers. Okay, so how'd you get on then? Let's see. So for the first task then, we want to see if this evaluates to true or false. Let's just go ahead and comment this out for now. So this doesn't run as well. Okay, so here then we're saying if A or B. A has a value of dev dreamer, B has a value of an empty string. Remember, an empty string always evaluates to false. And since we're using an OR operator, only one of these needs to evaluate to true. So A is true, B is false. So since A is true, it doesn't matter that B is false because we're using OR. Only one of these needs to be true. So let's go ahead and save. And sure enough, the console returns hello. So the answer to this one then is true. Let's go ahead and comment this out. And for task number two, it's the same thing. Does this evaluate to true or false? So here we're saying if A, which is true, and true, and then and not B. Well, if B is actually false, not B using a logical not operator there, this now becomes true. So B is now true. So we've got true, 
true and true. And since we're using the and logical operator, all of these need to evaluate to true. And they do, right? A is true, the Boolean value true is true, and not B is true. So this also evaluates to true. So let's go ahead and save. And the console returns, hello. Finally, for task number three then, we need to create two variables. So we're gonna say, let A be assigned the value of minus one, and let B be assigned the value of one. Create an if statement using a logical and operator. So we're gonna say if, and then here we're gonna say A, double ampersand for the logical operator. So if A and B, and then again, let's just console log the same thing here. So we're gonna say console.log, hello. So will this expression evaluate to true? Well, A has a value of minus one, which is true. B has a value of one, which is also true. So this evaluates to true. Let's go ahead and just comment this out and let's save. And once again, the console logs, hello. So guys, well done to completing those tasks. That's it for this lesson. In the next lesson, we're going to be learning all about the final logical operator, which is the nullish coalescing operator. This is a new logical operator, and so we're going to take some time to understand why it's been created and of course how it works. So be sure to tune in. Don't forget to comment, share, like, and subscribe down below, and I'll see you on the next one.